couple of uh, entries uh, in the blog away from uh, skimming the fuselage, the other fuselage uh, of the airplane. And I just wanted to show you the latest development. Uh, if you remember, the fuselage used to sit on the sawhorses quite high, but uh, it's kind of like a difficult to be doing some glassing at that, uh, at that level. Uh, furthermore, the fuselage is done in sections at a time. This half side first and then the other half side. So I'm not making this kind of contraption on top of the, the sawhorses that kind of lowers the fuselage and it also allows me to rotate it as a rotisserie. As you can see, to be able to work on this first half, uh, glass it, allow it to semi-cure to the point that it won't fall off basically and uh, rotate it on the other side at this point we'll walk on the other side obviously and uh, glass the rest of uh, uh, the other half of the fuselage here you can see I have uh, duct tape position where the speed brakes will go because once this is uh, uh, glass the speed brake uh, I mean the fiberglass will not stick to the duct tape so I'll be able to cut this out and remove the fiberglass and then we can get to work on the on the speed brake but for now this is uh, what we accomplished today I blew my neighbor a couple doors down that came over and helped me lift this thing she's trying to get kind of heavy uh, by now uh, the only other thing we need to make is basically like a little stand up for uh, the uni uh, fiberglass about the size uh, this is one roll of it, empty obviously. So about make it up this height so I can just pull the uni without having to cut it over there and then by the time I bring it over to the airplane be all out of shape. So next on the list is to build this little contraption to hold the roll of uh, fiberglass and a uh, uh, couple of things I wanted to do is uh, I decided to bury uh, the um, hinges for the canopy as well as the uh, place the L place for the uh, roll bar into the laundry room. So I'll be taking this off, sitting on the table here, and probably ride it down a little bit, maybe 65 thousandths of an inch, so that the structure can remain buried once I uh, install it later on. But other than that, we're pretty much uh, getting to the end of it. You can see all those little white spots, is like little nicks and dents that have been uh, fixed with uh, micro and. Uh, we're pretty, pretty much on the final stretch, so.